Washington plays Alabama in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. We're going to kind of analyze. I think it's a bad matchup for Washington. Calculated they'd probably win one of seven games. A couple of things that are tough, Bama's front seven versus the Huskies' offensive line. I looked. I really don't like Browning's arm. Too average. You really need a howitzer to force it in against Bama. Um, Hurts on the ground. And I just think Bama is more physical. I did notice to win that 1-7 and seven game, the Huskies do have a few opportunities to exploit and certain plays that need to be made. And they will be shown throughout this videotape clips of Bama games, Husky games, and some history of the Washington Huskies upsetting Miami as an 18-point dog. Michigan in the Rose Bowl is a 14-point dog, was, which is where the Huskies are right now. And also going into the Orange Bowl against a heavily favored Oklahoma Sooner team and upsetting them. So possibility exists. Let's get to some of the tape here and enjoy this video. Washington played a Miami team led by Warren Sapp, Ray Lewis, Kenny Holmes, and The Rock as 18-point underdogs. There goes Knapp Kaufman. Here comes a stuff putting eight men in the box to stuff the run. Executing safety blitzes to create turnovers, as you see. The same thing happened with Ole Miss. Coming in on a blitz, bam, Hurts goes down. There goes the ball, six points. you got to be able to do that, mix it up. The other thing is Bama's going to be very aggressive. You've got to run some effective screens, as you see here from Thomas, running away, and there goes Ray Lewis, number 52, diving. Here's another screen pass going for a touchdown. There goes Warren Sapp, number 76. When you got the blitz and you got the heavy pressure, you got to get the ball out quick, run screens against Bama. Here's one that uh, shows, what, Arkansas coming up right here? Easy, a rollout, misdirection. Here comes a screen play. Weak side, bam, down the line. Washington's got to do that. Here's a pick six against Miami to help win that game. Washington has got to make big plays to stay in this. Here's another one in the Pac-12 championship game. Pick six by Washington. It's, it's mandatory that they make these big plays from special teams and defense. Washington's got to get the ball outside. Actually, number one for Arkansas made a nice snag there. John Ross going deep. Here's another one where he's got good hands. Browning going down. Ross going up. Touchdown. He's got to make big plays. Use his speed. Here's another one. Looks like Bama really wasn't great against bigger receivers. Um, well, here's Ross again going deep. I, he's, he's slippery. Look at him. He looks like a little bit of Deshaun Jackson in him. He's got the wheels. It'll be interesting to see if Bama can uh, harness him a little bit. Here goes, who's this, Arkansas going deep. Again, a tight end play. It seems like those are the plays that are open. Another one, Kelly going over the middle. Bigger tight end, bigger receiver. Here is a run, touchdown run by Ole Miss. Washington's got to at least come up with one. Gaskin, they got Gaskin and Coleman running. Here's Coleman taking outside. That's tough. He doesn't have enough speed, I don't think, to match up with Bama, but he's got a little bit more size. Again, this is where the jump ball comes in, bigger receivers. Bama had a little challenge with Ole Miss right here. Washington has got Dante Pettis. Excellent, bigger receiver, great hands. That's not the only play I could show about five highlight reels of Dante. I think he's really going to be one of the unsung heroes if the Washington's going to win. Here's a punt return playing special teams. Washington's got to do this kind of stuff. they got to come up with everything. I Like I said, one in seven shot for them to win this game. they got to have special team a touchdown, some type of couple interceptions. Here's another play that's showing in the Ole Miss game. Bama gets a little too over-aggressive. Here he is, safety bites on that. Gone. That's the kind of stuff that Ross and Pettis need to do. Here's a play in Washington. Throwing out to Pettis. You got aggressive Wazoo. Gets faked out. Going down to Daniels, which again, Bama. A two touchdown underdog. Husky team from Seattle is now out on front. 10 to nothing. A two touchdown underdog. Husky team from Seattle is now out on front. Two touchdown underdog. This is what needs to take place against Bama for dogs to win. Fake punts. I'm sure Bama's is going to be ready for all the bag of tricks, but Washington is not going to be able to go in this game and win without having huge chunk plays from special teams, defense, turnovers. Anyway, Washington beats Michigan 27-20 as a 14-point dog.
Miami, Florida, an exciting place to be on New Year's Day. The Sooners, the toughest team in America to run the ball on. They give up only 68 yards a game to the opponent's rush. Defense was led by nose tackle Tony Casillas, first-round draft pick. Linebacker Brian Bosworth, also a first-round draft pick. What the Huskies needed to do was come after the quarterback mobile, just like Hurts, and attack him with blitzes, get him down on the ground. Some other things that we saw earlier is there were some blown coverages by Bama. Here's a pass to Danny Green for a touchdown. We saw that in the Ole Miss game, and that could be a, an opportunity for Pettis. Again, Washington, double-digit dog, goes in the Orange Bowl, beats Oklahoma by 11. Huskies, number four, the Nebraska Cornhuskers, number nine. The winner will have a chance at a national championship. Size as they trail 21 to nine. Came up big on their way to this national championship, scoring 27 unanswered points. Beat Nebraska in, the, in their house 36-21. Got a standing ovation from the Cornhusker crowd. Jay Berry on an 80-yard touchdown. So Washington's won some big games as underdogs. There it is, 36-21. And uh, you never know. Uh, they've got to pull out all the stops. The dogs beat the greatest team ever assembled on a college field. It's going to take everything. All the screens, misdirections, blitzes, eight men in the box, Pettis returns, Ross deep plays, Browning not turning it over. A lot has to happen.